Forget what I said about my Jing Yuan lacking trace levels. That was just me having some skill issue. After giving Jing Yuan a better four-piece Grand Duke set and a better attack rotation, I was finally able to get him a zero cycle clear. I've always talked about how good Ting Yun is when equipped with a four-piece messenger and dance 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 LC, but I keep forgetting to mention how much speed she really needs to get three actions within zero cycle of each wave. Because Ting Yun gets a speed buff after using her skill, her ideal attack pattern is using skill into skill into a basic attack. Using that rotation, here are the speed requirements depending on the rank of your dance 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 LC. There can be situations where your Ting Yun needs to use skill into basic attack into skill rotation. This greatly increases the speed requirements. The team's attack pattern only requires Sparkle to be able to move three times on the second wave. This means that I could take into account that Ting Yun will be able to use her ultimate twice for a double dance 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 LC proc. Using my calculator, here are the speed requirements for Sparkle based on the rank of your Dance 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 LC. After checking how much speed you need on Sparkle, make sure that Ting Yun is one speed higher. Obviously, if you're using a character like Ruin Mei, all speed requirements would be reduced by around 10. Speaking of Ruin Mei, she should be using a zero speed build in this team. Enjoy the showcase. Carved on stones. Hey, no, Deva. Touch. 